Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Welcome to the show. Edmonton Unplugged here, Douglas Mitchell. I've got uh, Amy Metcalf. Very Hi, Hi, guys. Amy. Oh, hey. Yeah, you're about to watch me sing, you know, three songs, two or three songs, and um, we're going we're gonna to do a little interview after. A little bit of talking. A little bit of talking, a little bit of accents. A little bit of accents? Oh, I wish we could that do accents. That was accent. off camera. Oh, yeah, could that never happen? No. But stick around and take a watch. All right. You taste like fun, but you feel like mascara running down my cheek. And when I see you smile, I'm weak and I fall again. You walk past me and smell of bad memories. But every time I hear you speak, I'm lost again. And my thoughts tell me it's time to forgive But you are my favorite regret And all my senses All my senses are telling me, telling me to run They're telling me, telling me to run You touch my skin and shivers burn down my spine, but then I remember the times you broke me over and over again. You whisper sweet, and then our eyes meet. And when I look at you, I see why I fell again. And my thoughts tell me it's time to forgive. You are my favorite regret and all my senses All my senses are telling me, telling me to run They're telling me, telling me to run All my senses All my senses are telling me, telling me to run They're telling me, telling me to run and I can see you over in there. I can feel all of the hair on my neck raise up. And I can taste all of your love, but it never was enough. And my sixth sense is telling me you're fun, but the rest of them are telling me run. And all of my senses. All my senses are telling me, telling me to run. They're telling me, telling me to run. All my senses, all my senses are telling me, telling me to run. They're telling me, telling me to run. They're telling me, telling me, telling me, telling me to run. Telling me, telling me, telling me, telling me to run. Driving on the highway, we were just young when the days were light, when trouble meant fun. Speeding on the pavement at 17, so fast we could hardly see. Water poured down like the drink she drank. Her face was heavy, her ship was sank. They hit the keys, she was locked in a booze of destiny. And the drops fell, time stopped, and she hit us alive. Hard rock and the water ran red in the middle of the road, along with the memories that she stole. And that's why I'm bitter at the rain, I'm bitter at the sight. I'm scared that I can't run, I'm scared that I'll have to fight. I'm bitter at the sound, I'm bitter at the feel. All it does is so. The pain, that's why I'm 
I'm bitter at the rain. Oh, I'm bitter at the rain. Oh, year passed by, it felt like days. I know his parents still visit the grave, but I can feel the clouds all loading up. I can still hear the sound of the pickup truck and drops fall. My heart stops. I can feel the hit like a hard rock, and the thoughts are running red in the middle of the road, along with the memories that she stole. And that's why I'm bitter at the rain. I'm bitter at the sight. I'm scared that I can't run. I'm scared that I'll have to fight. I'm bitter at the sound. I'm bitter at the feel. All it does is so the pain. That's why I'm bitter at the rain. Oh, I'm bitter at the rain. Oh, and I've convinced everyone my hurt is gone. I told them I'm all right, moved on. But if the weatherman says the grounds won't dry, it's when I go outside, no one can see me cry. Cause I'm still bitter at the rain, I'm bitter at the sound, I'm scared that I can't run. I'm scared that I'll have to fight. I'm bitter at the sound. I'm bitter at the feel. All it does is so the pain. That's why I'm bitter at the rain. Oh, I'm bitter at the rain. Oh, I'm bitter at the rain. Well, hello. Here we are with Amy Metcalf. Amy, hello. how you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm good. Feel good singing? I do. Yeah, it's I'm, kind of my thing. I'm I'm enjoying it. It's kind That's of your good. thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, you've been singing for how long? How, how long have you been doing this now? Um, since I can't remember. Like I honestly have just been doing it forever. Since I, pre-memory. Pre-memory, yeah. Probably was doing it in the womb. Cooing in the cradle. Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, I would always, like, whenever there was a stage or, like, a table, I was just, like, gra I had my, that little microphone pack, you know, those rainbow ones that you press the buttons oh, with yeah. and you can sing? I had that everywhere I went, and I would just jump on things that were higher than the ground and sing on them. I saw that picture. Did you on Instagram? With the dog? Yeah, and no. the rubber boot. And the rubber boot, obviously. yeah. Yeah, that was great. Just in case. Okay, so what point did you end up picking up a guitar? Did somebody put it in your hands, or did you reach for it yourself? Um, actually, it's kind of funny. I mean, I kind of played. My dad had a guitar and just lying around the house, you know, the casual guitar. And I kind of played with it a little bit, and I never took any lessons or anything. I just kind of looked at books or read online. Um, and then I used to play sports a lot. Mm. And um, I, I was quite good at basketball, actually. And then I got cut from the team in high school because I had dance and, like, other commitments, and they didn't like that. Even It was a stupid excuse. They it was want an your excuse. Commitment. It wasn't <laughs> stupid. Anyways, so because I, I didn't know what to do yeah. because I didn't have basketball, so I went into guitar lessons. And then after that, it just went... So grade 10, I guess, is, was the answer to that question. What were some of the first <laughs> songs you were learning? Um, actually, one of the first songs, because I, I bought one of you know, those Fender Strat, the typical electric guitar that came with the amp. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was listening to this song on the way here, actually, Brain Stew. You know the song? Brain Stew? Yeah. I'm but having trouble trying to sleep. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> and I, like, thought that was the coolest thing, because I'd put my, like, distortion on the amp. and I, So that was, like... One of the first ones I can remember actually learning a full song is that song. When, how old were you when you decided you wanted to write your own music? Um, I was writing music at a very young age. Like, I can remember songs on piano that I wrote when I was seven. So it's just kind of always been a thing that I, uh, that I did, and then I kind of decided I wanted to do it professionally when I was 19. So you've been, you, I know that you've been a part of a lot of uh, songwriting collaborations and mm -hmm. whatnot, but this EP that you've released, this is... Uh, more of your personal stuff. Yeah, it's it's all self-penned, and then there's one co-write on it with Byron Hill. Um, I just kind of felt like, because I'd been writing for so long and hadn't released anything yet, um, that I needed to get this phase of my life out there before I released the next one. If 
thought felt it was important because I had so many songs from so many different parts of who I was. So I know it's important to honor the where you're where you're coming from. Yeah. And all that. You, yeah. You're pouring your heart into these things. They got to have some sort of life. Yeah, and I think that as long, you know, you never know what an album's going to do. You don't know how well music is going to go, mm. but if you release mm. something that means something to you, you can't really go wrong because you're going to have it for the rest of your life. So. Yeah, well, I know, and you have a very personable nature, and, and the songs they come across is a very personal thing. Good, that's good to hear. Yeah, sounds great. So thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Uh, we've got one more song coming from Amy Metcalf. <laughs> Balls on the run. I want to stay up, have a good time. Just a little sip of you might clear my mind. Cause I know the whiskey won't fix me. Need something stronger, lasts longer. I know the whiskey won't fix me. But a little bit of you will oh, I could have one Or I could have two But it won't take much to get a buzz from you Cause having you here Is 90 proof Jack Daniels ain't got nothing on you, that's the truth. Cause I know the whiskey won't fix me. Need something stronger, lasts longer. I know the whiskey won't fix me. But a little bit of you, well, yeah. A little bit of you, well. Need something stronger, lasts longer. I know the whiskey won't fix me, but a little bit of you will, yeah. A little bit of you will. A little bit of you will. A little bit of you will.